breaking news. We have breaking news, my lovely, lovely imps. That's right, you are here live to witness the reveal of perhaps some evidence as to why Tucker Carlson may have been fired. As you all know, Tucker Carlson was recently fired from Fox News, which is pretty wild given uh, he was making a ton of money and was also making a ton of money for Fox News. And also his show was uh, the most successful show of its type in the country, um, which is pretty wild. And we have not had a conclusive answer as to why Tucker Carlson was fired. However, breaking news has just revealed a potentiality. Let's take a look at this. I just received this. So there is no prep. I haven't seen this or anything. This is as fresh to me as it is to you. Let's go into it. Tucker Carlson leaked video revealed reveals fired hosts crude off camera remarks. The ex Fox News anchor shown referring to fans as post menopausal and an unnamed woman as yummy in clips released on Tuesday. Leaked video published this Tuesday, that's today, showed the fired Fox News. Oh, unless you're watching in the future, and then it's Tuesday the 2nd of May, if you're watching in the future. Leaked video published on Tuesday showed the fired Fox News host Tucker Carlson describing an unnamed woman as yummy, referring to his fans as postmenopausal, and also attempting to discuss sexual technique with British journalist Piers Morgan. The first two remarks were previously reported by the New York Times. The clips were released by Media Matters for America, a progressive watchdog that on Monday released the other video in which Carlson derided the Fox Nation streaming service. In one clip, Carlson seemed to anticipate leaks, telling Media Matters, go fuck yourself. So wait, can we see the actual clips? Is that here? Where's the clips? I want to see the clips. Where's the damn clips? Why does The Guardian do this? Does this have the clips? Of course it's this website. Okay. These websites suck. All right, if anybody can find if anybody can find me the actual clips, that'd be fantastic. I'm just reading the article right now. <clears throat> in what? Uh, let's see. Carlson was suddenly fired by Fox News last week in the aftermath of the network's 787.5 million dollar settlement of a defamation lawsuit brought by Dominion over its broadcast of Donald Trump's electoral fraud lies. The Times report about Carlson's comments, as well as highly offensive messages redacted in filings in the Dominion case, was released amid widespread speculation about the reason for his firing. The Wall Street Journal, a Fox News stablemate, also reported that executives were angered by Carlson's language. Okay, see, that could actually be it. That could actually be a real reason. If Tucker Carlson uh, had texts and recorded videos of him shitting on the network, of him shitting on his coworkers. We know he was shitting on Donald Trump. If he has all of those things, um, yeah. In one video released by Media Matters on Tuesday, Carlson tells someone off camera, you wouldn't, okay? I'm not qualified on that score. I will say, I thought his girlfriend was kind of yummy. Ew. Ah. Uh. He also says, here, let me bring this back up. He also says he was just kidding in case of this being pulled off the bird, meaning from a satellite, adding, hey, Media Matters for America, go fuck yourself. Dude, that's... Carlson adds, I don't even know what his girlfriend looks like, and if I did, I would not find her yummy. Dude, oh, dude. Ah, oh, dude. In a second clip, Carlson says, I can never assess my appearance. I wait for my postmenopausal fans to weigh in on that. 
In the clip with Morgan from British Talk TV channel, two men engage in pre-interview small talk. Morgan expresses gratitude for his welcome in New York where Fox News is based. In words now laced with irony, Carlson says, yeah, they really mean it from the owners on down. You know, people are nice in this company, I think. They've always been nice to me anyway. Morgan says it's just great to have Carlson on his show. Carlson says, I think it's totally cool. If we're going to talk about sex, I'd love to hit some of the fine points of technique. But you know, it's your show. Totally up to you. Referring to the end of men, a much comment upon series Carlson made for Fox Nation, Morgan replies, We can certainly talk about your sexual technique, especially after your tanning testicles last week. What? Carlson says, Not mine. We'll speak in more general terms, but I've got something to add. Fox News has declined to comment on the Media Matters leaks or Carlson's firing. The Times report that the tape remarks aside, private messages sent by, by Mr. Carlson that have been redacted in legal filings show him making highly offensive and crude remarks that went beyond the inflammatory, often racist comments of his primetime show and anything disclosed in the lead-up trial. Wait, this is the actual story. None of these silly comments matter. The Times report says that the, mar the taped m remarks inside private messages by Mr. Carlson that it were redacted in legal filings show him making highly offensive and crude remarks that went beyond a inflammatory and often racist comments. That means he was, that means he was being racist in his text messages or anti-Semitic in his text messages. The Times article? Yeah, but we'll see if I can even... The Times always has the paywall on it. Here we go. I got it. I got the article. Let's read the New York Times one then. On the eve of the trial, discovery of Carlson text sets off a crisis atop Fox. The day before Dominion Voting Systems defamation trial against Fox News is set to begin in a Delaware courthouse, the Fox board of directors and top executives made a startling discovery that helped lead to the breaking point between the network and Tucker Carlson. Private messages sent by Mr. Carlson that have been redacted in legal filings show him making highly offensive and crude remarks that went beyond his inflammatory, often racist comments of his primetime show and anything disclosed in the lead up. Where's the, do we have the texts? Hmm. I mean, that is, if the texts were that bad, by the time the board did see the redacted material, Lachlan Murdoch was already moving to find an out-of-court accommodation with Dominion, having given his negotiators the go-ahead. So it sounds like Mr. Like it sounds like Tucker Carlson might have been the 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 f deciding reason that they decided to settle. Yikes. The role that the messages produced in the Dominion discovery process played in helping to end Mr. Carlson's career at Fox demonstrates the severity of the damage the suit inflicted on the company. Fox was battered repeatedly by damaging disclosures as it proceeded to trial. If it had settled far earlier, the company could have avoided having to hand over Tucker Carlson's messages and those of the others, including from the personal accounts of both Murdochs. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. I didn't realize that that the case went so far that they had to hand over text from both of the Murdochs. Holy moly. So this is from Robert Evans. I just received this is a this is from Robert Evans, which hey, Robert Evans. Uh, we've, we've covered Robert Evans here, tend to like Robert Evans and tend to find him, uh, quite trustworthy. Robert Evans says, uh, this is, uh, this is unconfirmed, but they had unverified, but reason to believe that there were gen genuine insider sources saying the Dominion discovery revealed Murdoch texts and emails that were so anti-Semitic that they may have risen to the level of being legally actionable to an extent that they couldn't keep him on after seeing it, even if they wanted to. Holy shit. That is deranged. I like Robert Evans, and I have found Robert Evans to be a very reliable source in the past. 
I, I wish we could see those. All right, let's see if this video, looks like this video has some, uh, has some of the actual recordings. Well, I feel great. You know, I can never, I can never assess my appearance. I wait for my postmenopausal fans to weigh in on that. My IFB. What? They want to control me from afar? Okay, I'm putting the leash on. You, you can. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. I got you, baby. Looks like Tucker Carlson's post-firing period is quickly going from bad to worse. Go, Mike Lynch telling me going on now. Bowels of history. With this particular thing that's going on now, I've been all in trying to find the machine fraud. Okay, and wait, hold on. Here's the actual source. Here's the people who actually leaked it. Here we go. We finally, we finally got the direct li links. Okay, so here's the first one. Everyone in this company is thrilled that you're doing this. I've gotten more calls from people about it. Oh, that's great. Whatever well, I gotta say, I, I, when I came to um, New York a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't believe how welcoming and friendly everybody was. It was fantastic. I loved it. Yeah, they they really mean it from the owners on down. Yeah, um, it's cool. It's cool to see it. I like that. It's it's a good. You know, people are nice in this company. I think they've always been nice to me. Agree anyway. with you. I completely agree. Everyone's been very, very friendly and very nice, and I really appreciate it. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on. It's, uh, it's yeah, I bet that doesn't change. Of course. Yeah. It's just great to of have course. you on my show. I mean, I've been on yours enough times. It's great. I think it's totally cool. So let's, um, is, if we're going to talk about sex, I'd love to hit some of the fine points of technique. <laughs> But you know, but it's your show. It's totally up to you. We can certainly talk about your sexual technique, especially after your tanning testicles last week. <laughs> Not mine. I, we'll, <laughs> we'll speak in more general terms, but I've got something to add. <laughs> By the way, everyone okay, in this okay. company. This 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 video is not that shocking, okay? But I want you to notice this at the end, okay? Watch this right here. Watch this, okay? Ready? Speak in more general terms, but I've got something to add. <laughs> Do you see that big guy come up behind him and move him? Remember how I said, my, my lovely imps will remember in my last Tucker Carlson video, I said that Tucker Carlson wouldn't be able to make it on his own as an independent media guy because he's way too used to having an entire team take care of everything for him so that all he has to do is go like this at the camera. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Okay? That is, that is literally in action you are seeing exactly what I'm talking about. They have so many people. They have such a huge production team on, at Fox News. So much money that you don't even have to adjust your chair for the camera. A guy just comes up, literally picks you up, and moves you over so you don't even have to think about it. Actually wild. Actually wild, okay? Just, they don't have to do anything. Absolutely wild. All right, let's see the next clip. Let's see the next clip. That first one was, it was weird. The testicle tanning comments are weird, but uh, all right. You wouldn't, okay. I'm not, you know what? I'm not qualified on that score, I will say. I thought his girlfriend was kind of yummy. Just kidding, just kidding. In case this is being pulled off the bird. Yeah, the bird. Hey, media matters for America. Go fuck yourself. That's the first thing I want to say tonight. Second thing is, totally kidding, I don't even know what his girlfriend looks like. And if I did, I would not find her yummy. Okay, that's just embarrassing, okay? It is weird. It is a little creepy, but it's mostly just embarrassing. Okay, so let's see. What's the next one? Here's the next one. Well, I feel great. You know, I can never, I can never assess my appearance. I wait for my postmenopausal fans to weigh in on that. My IFB. What? They want to control me from afar? Okay, I'm putting the leash on. You, you can. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. I got you, baby. Okay. And here's another one. Here's another one that was posted by them. 
Here we go. I, I don't want to be a slave to Fox Nation, which I don't think that many people watch anyway. Um, we're going to, uh, because I, 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 you know, I'm like a representative of the American media now. Speaking to an exile in Romania and welcoming him back into the Brotherhood of Journalists. Yeah, it would help us out if you wore a sweater, though, because we asked him not to wear a suit. Like, he was panicking about it and said, you don't have to. Tucker's going to be looking uh, casual. That's just how our show looks. Is that okay? I, 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 I mean, this is airing on the nighttime show, and I want it to look official. I don't want it to be like bro talk. And I, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the majority of it, like if we... He's referencing Andrew Tate here, by the way. When he says an exile in Romania and welcome him back to the brother of journalists, he's... The text posted? Oh my God, wait, did they actually just get posted? Is that for real? Hold on a second. Okay, hold on. I, I would love it if we actually got the actual texts that just posted just now. That was literally just now. Okay, they did. Okay, all of this other stuff was uh, was fluff from the Guardian, but it appears we actually now have the actual texts. All right, let's take a look at them. Let's see if they are as much as the Guardian hyped them up to be. Let's find out in real time, my lovely imps. By the way, before we dive in to the thrilling reveal of this impromptu politics segment make sure that you've pressed like down below and make sure that you are subscribed to demon mama because you never want to miss out on hearing the signal and you only hear the signal here with demon mama press that subscribe button all right let's continue with the story a text message sent by tucker carlson set off a panic at the highest level of fox news on the eve of its billion dollar defamation trial showed its most popular host sharing his private inflammatory views about violence and race the discovery of the message contributed to a chain of events that ultimately led to mr carlson's firing this might unironically be the silver bullet billion dollar okay in the message sent to one of his producers in the hours after the violent Trump supporters stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Oh boy, here we go. Mr. Carlson described how he had recently watched a video of a group of men, Trump supporters, he said, violently attacking an Antifa kid. It was three against one, at least, he wrote, and then he expressed a sense of dismay that the attackers like him were white. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously, he wrote. It's just not how white men fight. <gasps> Holy fucking shit, that is super racist. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently they weren't kidding. He said he found himself for a moment wanting the group to kill the person he is described as the Antifa kid. Here's the actual texts. A couple of weeks ago, I was watching a video of people fighting on the street in Washington. A group of Trump guys surrounded... This is verbatim from the legal release, okay? Okay? This is me quoting Tucker Carlson directly. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living shit out of him. It was three against one at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Yet suddenly I found myself rooting for the mob against the man, hoping they'd hit him harder and kill him. I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. Then somewhere deep in my brain, an alarm went off. This isn't good for me. I'm becoming something I don't want to be. The Antifa creep is a human being. Much as I despise what he says and does, much as I'm sure I'd hate him personally if I know him, I shouldn't gloat over his suffering. I should be bothered by it. I should remember that he, that somewhere somebody probably loves this kid and I would, and would be crushed if he was killed. If I don't care about those things, if I reduce people to their politics, how much better am I than he is? Bro. Holy. 
okay, that actually is really, really bad. That is a very juicy leak. And this, I believe, could have led. This is the first thing that I truly believe could have actually led to the firing of Tucker Carlson. This is the first uh, smoking gun that we have had at all in this whole saga. Him just saying that's that's not how white people fight and saying that he wanted to see a kid get killed? Oh my God. For years, Mr. Carlson has espoused viewed, views on his show that amplified the ideology of white nationalism, but the text message revealed more about his views on racial superiority. The text alarmed the Fox board, which saw the message a day before Fox was supposed to defend itself against the Dominion voting systems before a jury. The board grew concerned that the message could become public at the trial when Mr. Carlson was on the stand, creating a sensational and damaging moment that would rise broader questions about the company. You're, fu you're not kidding. If they read that text out on national news and he had to sit there and say, yes, that was my text, that would have been so bad. Oh my God. Well, it got public now. That's so bad. Oh my God. So this is... By the way, the articles that we read at the beginning of this that were dancing around it, this is what they were talking about. This is the text that they were one of the texts they were talking about. Keep in mind, as far as we know, this is only one of multiple texts, and this is bad. It actually totally makes sense why Fox would have um it absolutely makes sense why Fox News would have would have settled after this came out. They would this would be one of those viral moments that would go that would go all over the world. They would that would be terrible to their brand. The, the you have to understand we've talked about Tucker Carlson and how he has to word everything very carefully on his show where his show is so blatantly racist and so blatantly bigoted, but he has a layer of plausible deniability over everything. There is no plausible deniability in this text, which was supposedly sent to Murdoch. That is really bad. That is super bad. That's bad not just for Fox News, not just for, for Carlson. It's bad for the entire Fox empire because this is a text that went to Murdoch. Holy moly. The text message added to a number of growing issue, internal issues involving Tucker Carlson that led to the company's leadership to conclude that he was more of a problem than an asset and had to go, according to several people with knowledge of the decision. In other messages, he had referred to women, including a senior F Fox executive, in crude and misogynistic terms. The message about the fight also played a role in the company's decision to settle with Dominion for $787.5 million. That is an insane amount of money. The highest known payout in any defamation case. That is so massive. Tucker Carlson finally making his Tucker Carlson finally making history, making history by being by being involved in the highest payout for a defamation case ever. The text is part of redacted court filings and its contexts were previously unreported. The contents of the text were disclosed. The people spoke on condition of anonymity because they did not want to be identified in discussing a message that is currently protected by a court order. In public filings, it remains hidden behind a black text. So these are the other texts, right? This is him t uh, dunking on Trump, right? This is him this is him saying he doesn't believe that what Donald Trump says. This is him saying he doesn't believe what he reports. This is the Don, the Donald Trump uh demonic force ones.
This is him. This is him uh, uh, insulting QAnon. So he's basically just. This is proof of him selling out to his audience. Here's them quoting the text again. Fox News has not commented about Tucker Carlson's ouster last week beyond an initial statement announcing they agreed to part we ways and thanking him for his service. Nice. It did not respond to a request for comment on Tuesday on the contents of the text. Of course they're not going to. They're going to try and keep this as quiet as possible. It, is, it was not previously guaranteed that the text would have been revealed in open court. Dominion's lawyers had still not decided whether they would introduce the text in front of the jury, according to people with knowledge of their plans. The two sides disagreed on whether Dominion lawyers could have presented such a redacted message if they had decided to do so, a decision that would have ultimately fallen to the judge. The difference became moot after they struck an 11th hour deal on April 18th to pay a settlement. So somebody leaked this. Somebody leaked this message out of a moral sense of a moral or ethical sense of duty because this they they wanted this Fox went out of their way to make sure that this would never reach the public. That is actually wild. The text about the fight, the one above of him talking about how white people don't act like this, quote unquote, uh, the chain of messages had been revealed publicly ahead of Ch Ch Chile, and those were shocking in their own right. Writing to one of his producers after the assault on the Capitol, Tucker Carlson describes President Trump uh, that who he championed on his show as a demonic force and a destroyer. A recurring theme of his show during the last six years that it ran in prime time on Fox News was the displacement of white Americans by people of color. Mr. Carlson often framed topics in the news as part of a larger struggle between us and them, with immigrants and other marginalized groups steadily and surely taking from whites, which had long been theirs, political and cultural power in the United States. He attacked black social justice activists and portrayed immigrants from Central America as a blight on the nation. He said in 2018 that immigrants make the country dirtier. In the aftermath of a mass shooting in El Paso at the hands of a gunman who cited white supremacist beliefs in his manifesto, Tucker Carlson declared on his show that white supremacy was not a real problem and likened it to a conspiracy theory. On Monday, the New York Times and other news organizations urged the judge overseeing the Dominion case to release some of the messages that were redacted. Well, now they're out. Everybody, I think we finally have it. I think we finally have the smoking gun as to why Tucker Carlson got fired. And it's because he was so racist in private that it made his show completely and undeniably racist. There is no way that they could save face from this. And we now have evidence that Fox News was so scared of this text going public that they even settled. They paid almost a billion dollars in order to make sure that this text did not reach the public. But thank God this text reached the public anyway. If he was that racist towards his, uh, in conversation with his boss, imagine what he says with his friends. Exactly. There is, there is no way that they can deny now. Now Fox News has absolutely no way to deny that they've been running a white supremacist TV show for six years on prime time. That they've been making money peddling white supremacy to the rest of America. The mask has been completely and utterly torn off. My lovely imps, I believe we finally at long last have it. Based to whoever the mysterious person who released this information was. Because this is a matter of, in my opinion, the future of the world. People like Tucker Carlson being exposed for what they are is so vital. It is so important. So whoever released this stuff, salute to you.
Will the average Fox viewer care? Uh, the average Fox viewer no longer has Tucker Carlson. Yeah, here's the article. Here's an archive link to the article if anybody wants to read it out. There you go. If you want to go spread this around, this is a archived link of the New York Times thing with the text in it, with the, with the document in it. Do you think this is Dominion Revenge? I don't, there's no way to know who it is. It could have been somebody on his team. It could have been somebody uh, from the legal department. Who knows? Nobody will ever know who did it, but whoever did it was, was right to do so. They were morally and ethically correct to make sure that this information reached the public because it is a matter of public interest. The fact that, 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 for six years, Tucker Carlson has gotten away tipping his nose and pretending that he's not just a blatant racist, that he's been one of the most popular shows in the world, and that he's gotten, and that they, that, that Fox News has made money peddling racism, outright racism, that is a good thing. That is an objectively good thing for the world to be exposed. There are a lot of Fox News viewers who won't care because a lot of Fox News viewers are racists. But the more that Fox News is associated with the raw racism that they actually output, the harder it is for them to hide behind a mask and pretend that they aren't just a racist show. The, the, the harder that is, the better the world gets because less and less people can tolerate that type of uh, that type of worldview and it makes it harder to sell to people who don't see themselves as racists But who otherwise are willing to listen to racists so long as those racists disguise their language You guys ever heard of the southern strategy? Uh, like oh my god, there's what's that quote here we go Let's see if I can get the exact quote in American politics, the Southern strategy was a Republican Party electoral strategy to increase political support among white voters in the South by appealing to racism against African Americans. And part of the Southern strategy involved disguise explicitly. There are quotes from Republican politicians in private and in public saying you have to keep it you have to keep it under the table. You appeal to the racism, but you don't say the N-word. You don't say, you avoid saying explicitly racist things, but you appeal to the racism. Can't just say it anymore. Yeah, do, does anybody have that quote? Let me see if I can find the actual quote of it so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, the Lee Atwater. Here we go, I think this is it. Here we go, sorry, it was a little loud there. Let's see if we can get it here. This is the audio. Here we go. Here's how I would approach that. Okay, ready? Here's this. In this audio, made public for the first time ever, Lee Atwater lays out how Republicans can win the vote of racists without sounding racist themselves. Take a listen to this. This was from 1981, by the way. Here's how I would approach that issue as a, as a, as a statistician or a political scientist, or no, as a psychologist, which I'm not, is, is how abstract you, you handle the race thing. In other words, how abstract you handle the race thing. You start out, and yeah, now y'all aren't quoting me. You start out in 1954 by saying nigger, nigger, nigger. By 1968, you can't say nigger. That hurts your backfire. So you say stuff like uh, force busing, states rights, and all that stuff. And you're getting so abstract now. You're talking about cutting taxes and all of these things. You're talking about are totally economic things. And the byproduct of them is blacks get hurt worse than whites. And subconsciously, maybe that is part of it. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that if it is getting that abstract and that coded, uh, that, that, we, that we're doing away with the racial problem one way or the other. Uh, you follow me? We're doing away with the racial problem one way or another. Do you see why I say this sort of thing is important? 
it is important to peel off the mask and show them for what they really are so they cannot hide behind abstractions, so they cannot hide behind euphemism. And what we have today is incontrovertible private proof of Tucker Carlson being blatantly and disgustingly racist in a discussion with his bosses at the Fox News mega corporation. Let's have some more of this in the future. I want, I want to see more of this type of expose in the future. I want the people out there, people in my audience and beyond, out there with skills and talents, journalists, truth seekers, diggers, all of you out there, I want, I want this for the future. I want these people to be exposed for who they are. Ne we should never allow people like Tucker Carlson to have the power that they've had to manipulate the world into a more racist and more disgusting and more hateful place. And I'm very, very, very happy to know that Tucker Carlson not only lost his job, but is now being exposed for exactly what he was. Because let's be real, Tucker Carlson losing his job is a slap on the wrist. The man is rich as can be. Just Tucker Carlson just losing his job means that he gets to go live a comfortable life for the rest of his existence and try his hand at whatever little projects he wants after spending six years promoting racism, hatred, anti-trans uh, uh, bigotry all across America. Anyway, if you enjoyed this literally cutting edge breaking news live reporting on Tucker, Car Tucker Carlson being completely and utterly exposed just know you heard the signal with demon mama make sure that you press subscribe down below leave a comment with your thoughts and don't forget to like the video because this is where you're going to hear the signal and the signal is more important than ever thank you all very much